forgot their voice. I definitely forgot their voice, but uh, you know, I kind of forgot what they look like. It affected me at the same time it affected my parents. You know, right now my dad uh, can't even go to grocery shopping because last time he went there, I think they spit on his face. They said, you're a father of Ennis. And my mom cannot just go to the street and walk uh, freely. I have a voice. I have a very strong voice because I play basketball and NBA. And whenever I say something, it becomes a conversation. It becomes, it goes viral. So why not use it in a good cause? Use it to help people. Some people said, what you're doing is amazing. Some people said, this is not your job. Just shut up and just do your, play your game. Turkey was a peaceful country before, and there was democracy, and there was a uh, freedom. But now if you look at Turkey, it's a very uh, sad country, because there is no democracy, there is no freedom of speech or, the, or freedom of expression. And the country, what's going through is very sad, because my brother just came uh, to America from Turkey this summer. And he told me that, you know, economy is going down, uh, people are not happy, there's been a lot of terrorist attacks and people are just fighting and miserable. The reason behind it is just, of course, my political views. And the guy who did it is, you know, the Recep Tayyip Erdogan, the president of Turkish uh, Turkey. And, uh, you know, just you guys know him by, you know, he's attacked the people in uh, Washington. He's a bad, bad man. He's a dictator and he's the uh, Hitler of our century. If you are talking about human rights, if you are talking about freedom of expression, freedom of speech, and democracy, and you know the the regime in Turkey is not going to like you, and you're going to have a lot of haters. My dad was a genetic professor and lost his job. He's already been in jail one time. And um, now the second time, actually, Turkey is a little scared to touch him because of my fame, because they know if they put him in jail that we can put so much pressure here to Turkey. And they hate that. They're kind of scared, but uh, there is a chance that he could go to jail around 10 to 15 years. And what are you trying to do? Stop that. I try to bring him here to America. Well, it's not possible because they took their passport away. And what I can do is just do this. Just start to bring, uh, you know, start to create an awareness so people, I don't know, might, uh, might do something about it. Someone took a photo with me and it was in his phone. When they come to search his house, they, they find a photo with me and him on his phone and they put him in jail. I mean, look, whenever I go outside, a lot of people, even like my friends, you know, are scared to walk next to me because they know they, there is one picture out there, me and him, uh, can destroy their whole family back in Turkey or they can, that one photo can destroy their everything. Well, people call me, um, I am a man without a country. I kind of feel like I am homeless. People are saying, you know, are we ever gonna stop speaking about it? Are you scared or are you, uh, is your family there? How about something happens to them? 
Uh, what I'm trying to do is way bigger than basketball, way bigger than myself, way bigger, way bigger than NBA. Because I'm trying to be the voice of all the uh, innocent people who don't have a voice. So my thing is, I wish I can do more, I wish I can speak more. After all this, I will still proudly hold the Turkish flag. Yes, I love my country, don't get me wrong. I talk about my country, I love my country. I, my problem with the regime, my problem with the government in Turkey, what's going on. And um, all I can do right now, pray for my country and try to you know, create an awareness. I hope I can go there today, but I cannot.